welcome back. Today's video is going to be August favorites. This is kind of like a trend that's coming back that I've seen and I personally love these videos so much. I love seeing what people love and like different products that I could get and incorporate into my routine or just like make my life easier in general. I love this trend but I cannot believe that it is literally September tomorrow. To me, like, it doesn't feel like March anymore. It feels more like April. Like, we'll just forget that, like, my birthday happened back in June. And, like, this whole summer has already passed. Like, this year has flown by, but the days feel so long. Probably because, like, I don't know. Like, I'm by myself most of the time. So, we'll see um, how the rest of the year goes. But it's pretty crazy that this year is, like, just flying by in general. Okay, so I just have like a lot of different random favorites. I'm gonna try to categorize them a little bit just so, you know, it's not so crazy random. I have like some beauty, lifestyle kind of organization, and like a few little clothing items, nothing too crazy. These are kind of just things that I use every single day and that, that just like really impact my life and make them better. They're small, they're nothing crazy, but it just overall makes me a better and happier person. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I think we're gonna start off with beauty. Um, just because I feel like I have the most for this. We'll start off with these um, Sarah V makeup um, removing cleansing cloths. Now I've always had to buy like the ones from like Trader Joe's or something that are like super crazy, like no um, toxic chemicals, I don't know, super natural, I would say because I'm really sensitive to makeup wipes for some reason, I don't know why, like the Neutrogena ones, like I may as well die if I use them, like my skin flares up, my it's burning, my eyes are burning, but I kind of just gave these a shot because I ran out of the Trader Joe's ones, I don't live that close to a Trader Joe's, so I was just like, I need makeup wipes. Um, I do not use these every single day. I do not use them to take off my makeup in general. I actually use the Clinique cleansing oil in the shower. I like to take my makeup off in the shower. These are more um, for like how I have makeup on today and I'm going to Orange Theory at 4.15. So like I just try not to over cleanse my face. So I wash in the morning and at night which there's arguments about that but anyways I don't want to have to wash my face for a third time during the day so um I use these instead just to get the makeup off so I'm not like wiping makeup all over my shirt when I'm sweating they have a lot of interesting ingredients um probably not the best for you in general but they work for me and they don't give me that like harsh burn or I don't know I don't get any pain from them so I don't know I enjoy them Next off is probably, you've seen this before, it's the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. Mine's pretty um, tapped into. I just leave this by my bed. I am obsessed with this. I put it on every time I see it basically. Um, and I don't always just put it, in, put it on before bed, like you can wear it during the day. But it just works so well. I have the vanilla kind. I think there's like a strawberry, raspberry, like it's pink. Um, I just like the taste of the vanilla one, honestly. But yeah, this is so key clutch. It makes your lips feel amazing. So next off is um, native deodorant. Oh, I guess I should. Oh, mine's basically dead. Came off. <laughs> um is native deodorant i have the eucalyptus and mint i think this is my favorite smell um by them i just get it at target i know you can order it online and some um influencers have like promo codes for getting a couple i just find it easier just to buy it at target like i don't know i don't think about it i think this works pretty well it definitely was a transition from um my other deodorant this is like i get kind of rashy <laughs> underneath my armpits with certain deodorants like the normal kind so I have to use the like clear gel um 
kind of more relax deodorants normally. It's 11.35 and I'm already tired. Um, but obviously, like, I've been trying to make the switch to aluminum free. I basically wear this every day. Like, I have it on now. I think it's great. I just bought another brand from Target. I just want to give it a shot because I've recently seen a lot of people don't like native deodorant. They don't think it feels good, whatever. So, um, I'm just going to, like, try out a couple other brands and I guess I'll report back to you. But this is definitely solid for me. My next favorite is this body lotion. Okay, so it definitely is um, from Bath and Body Works. I just took the label off because I thought the bottle was pretty and it looks better on my little makeup area where you're sitting on right now. But it's the Sunrise Yoga um, smell, flavor, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, it's made with mandarin oil, spearmint oil, and Juniperberry oil, juniper. I feel like you probably don't say, but it has no artificial dyes. It's not tested on an animals. It's part of their like aromatherapy collection, I believe. I don't know. This shit just smells so good. Like I don't even know if it's really all that moisturizing. I feel like I put a lot on, but it does last long. Like I feel like I've put a lot on, and I'm only like not even a quarter of the way through yet. So. But I just love the smell of it. it. kind of relaxes me at night. I just throw it on my hands, my arms, stuff like that. Next up is this Maybelline Dream BB Pure Skin Clearing Beauty Balm. It's an 8-in-1 skin protector. has salicylic acne treatment. has 2% salicylic acid. I'm in the shade 110 Light. Um, obviously, I'm super pale, so mine's probably one of the lowest um shade ranges but anyways um i love the it cosmetic cc cream but honestly that really gives like a full coverage foundation kind of look to your skin and you know i'm not really doing much i'm not going out like i have this on today i just have this on today with the laura mercier setting powder like the translucent powder and some um concealer on like my problem areas and under my eyes and I think this works really well I think it looks good it's like much lighter I just toss it right on to my makeup brush just blend it all in I love the it cosmetic CC cream like don't get me wrong that is amazing but um I'm kind of just trying to transition to something a little lighter and this is definitely more relaxed okay so then my next kind of beauty favorite, makeup favorite, is um, this NARS blush. It's in Deep Throat. I love how they name all of their, like, makeup product shades, like, sexual things. This color, I have it on. I wear it every single day. Like, every single day. Um, it's just so pretty. Like, it's just a perfect peachy kind of look. It's so easy. It goes on. I probably don't need any more, but, like... I don't go crazy with blush or anything, um, but I just think it's such a good everyday kind of color. It's definitely on the pricier side, but I mean, I don't even know how long I've had this and like, look, look, it looks like I don't even use it. And then, um, next up is this e.l.f. foundation brush. Now I use this for my concealer, like I kind of conceal some of my acne spots in my under eye concealer. I was just in the market for a new one, saw this at Target, it was like two bucks I think. So I would definitely recommend e.l.f. The brush is soft, I'm gonna get makeup on my hands. It's definitely not like the thickest, highest quality ones, this is my old one. Sorry, it's actually disgusting looking. It's from Sigma. I think obviously this is better, it's bigger, thicker, but this is the it's a great alternative, works perfectly, so I highly recommend this. Now this is a recent buy for me. It's the Quip uh, toothbrush. I didn't buy it online, I just saw it in Target and I saw that they had this pink color. 
I was really debating between the pink and then the all black one. The all black one is sick looking, but it's like $10 more. And I was like, do I really need to spend 10 more dollars like on a toothbrush because it's all black? So I decided with the pink, pink's my, my color. So I kind of just stuck with that. But I really like this, it vibrates. Just press the button. I like how it comes with this thing. It's supposed to stick against the wall. I stuck it somewhere and then, well it's supposed to stick on tile or like a mirror. I stuck it somewhere, wanted to move it and then now it doesn't, like you can't move it. So I don't love that because like I wanna use this for traveling. So I don't know about that, but I do like it and it's pretty and it works well. So now I think we're going to kind of just move into a couple like random lifestyle favorites. So I've mentioned some of my other videos, my Hydro Flask. This one has definitely been through the ringer. It's my oldest one. It's a lot of things. When you drop it, it is literally like the world ends. Like everyone in the room stops. It fell at Orange Theory the other day and it was like, everyone was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but um, it doesn't fit in a lot of cup holders. That's my only issue with it but I mean I drank so much water because of it I love it so much it's definitely one of the most used things I've ever bought they are expensive they are but I mean I drink like four of these a day so like think about it it's literally it goes everywhere with me so my next favorite I just brought this because um obviously I can't bring a class to you so it's orange theory i've been loving the group fitness um workout i don't know i'm just more of a group fitness workout gal just making sure it was still recording i'm a big group fitness gal it's just so fun so much more motivating than working out by yourself and they're taking a lot of precautions with covid i feel really safe there and all that, it's 50% capacity, everyone's on their own machine, so much wiping down, so much cleaning. That was already happening before COVID, so like they're just really even increasing their precautions. So I feel safe going. I don't really think I would ever go to a gym right now. I don't know, it's just like gross, especially like the LA Fitness in my area, like it's gross. So I just feel safer in the smaller like studios. Um, so this is just like the heart rate monitor that you wear during class. Um, so you're up on the board, but I just really love it and pushes me in all the right ways. But next up are fall candles from Target. I know everyone's been freaking out because all of the fall stuff has officially come out. Um, I just bought a couple of these mini ones from Opal House. I think they smell so good. This one's Harvest Apple. So I have one burning downstairs that I didn't want to stop burning because it smells so good. I think it's like orchard something. I'll probably link it down below. But I just bought a couple of these. They're only a few bucks. I kind of want to just try out, um, let's see if there's a price on here. I wanted to try out a few to see what kind of stuck with me. So this one's just fall day and harvest apple. Um, let's see if they have like the notes on here. I do not think so. But it says they're supposed to burn up to 20 hours, so that's cool because they're pretty small. Um, okay, I guess I'll just throw this in right here. It's like my only food kind of favorite is smart sweets. I'm obsessed with these like Swedish fish. I don't really like Swedish fish like I do but like it's not my like candy that I would reach for but I freaking crave these bad boys like they're so good and if you don't know anything about smart sweets like this little bag it's 80 calories they're non-gmo gluten free they're like free from sugar alcohols they just have high and they're high in fiber and they don't have a lot of sugar so it kind of makes um like eating the candy a little bit better for you there's no fat um and stuff like that there's only three grams of sugar which is 
good, obviously, for a candy. It says plant-based goodness, high in fiber, free from artificial sweeteners, peanut and tree nut free, free from artificial colors, and it's naturally free flavored. And they're vegan certified. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I love them. They taste so good. I buy them from Amazon because you can get it like a pack of 30, I think, for like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much. Probably like $12 or something. No, it's gotta be more than that. They're definitely expensive, especially if you buy them from Whole Foods because one of these little packs is like $3 at Whole Foods. So just order them on Amazon. Okay, so moving kind of more into lifestyle e. I don't know how to describe it. I guess like desk kind of school stuff. So, as you know, I'm a graduate student now. I'm taking all my classes online, but I found these when I was an undergrad, and they're the Mil Mild Liners. Oh my god. I mean, guys, like, look at them. Like, they're so pretty. I don't even think this is all of them. I have so many packs of them. They're so pretty, and you get, like, the thicker side on one, and then the thinner side so like also depending on the size of the text that you're highlighting and stuff you got it's covered the colors are pretty you can buy them at target but i did see at um what is it michael's the craft store that you can buy them individually so if you have like a favorite color that you keep running out of and you're like buying the packs over and over to keep getting that color well you can buy them individually at michael's so that's a hack. I was really excited to see that. Okay, so my next favorite is my planner. I'm finally using a 2020 planner, mostly because of school. I think I showed this a little bit in um, um, my last video. But, so this is just like the month of September. I don't really have stuff just fell out of it. <laughs> one moment okay back <laughs> so um i just really love this this is from target i think it's so pretty um the green is kind of a cool green and i just like how it's laid out sorry if you see some of my personal stuff oh more stuff's falling out i just like how it has weekly notes so i kind of just went through every week of the semester basically has like the assignments and stuff I should be doing um for that week and then I have this whole column to like do bigger to-do list items I do kind of use like a journal for everyday to-do lists and then I kind of just write um kind of I I write um the things that are due for every class here so I mostly use it just to keep track of school since I'm not going and doing things like I don't have a lot of places to be at specific times um, so that would also be in there if that was the case. I also use Google Calendar. Next favorite is, you're probably like, what the hell is that stuff? So I got this at Home Goods. It's like a lap desk. One, it's such a cute color. And it kind of like slides out. Then you put these down. And then you have a great little lap desk. I used to have a metal one and it just like was so heavy and clunky. I like how this one's plastic. It's super light and like I can even just like lean it up against my body if I'm leaning back. It's got something on it. If I'm like leaning back um, and like in bed or on the couch. And it also has this, I don't know how to show this to you properly, has this little like tech kind of line so you can put you know just use my phone for an example but if you have like an ipad or something you can just stick it right in here and watch whatever it also has this probably better for charging stuff and i like that you can just you know you just pull out the things and then strap the legs um and it just clicks and it's super trans portable and it's just easy to bring places so that's definitely something I've been using ever since school started last few uh, favorites here's one thing that I'm wearing it's kind of more beauty fashion related now 
This is um, obviously my slipper. <laughs> They're Ugg slippers. I love them. These are the ones that have, this is the one that has like the base on it. I don't know, like a sole. So you can wear them outside and stuff. So sometimes I'll walk my dog with them. But I try to keep them to like inside only. So I don't ruin them. My next favorite um, are these Birkenstocks. I'm sorry, they're gross. I wear them like if I'm not wearing my slippers, I'm wearing these. If I'm not wearing my slippers, they're not too gross on the bottom. I try to wear them mostly inside as well. Um, definitely spilled some stuff on while cooking and they do get kind of gross like where your feet are obviously um, but they're super comfortable my doctor actually recommended me to like start wearing these around the house and not go barefoot because I'm a big barefoot person around the house but I really bad plantar fasciitis so she was like you need shoes like all the time that have um, better arch support rather than walking on the hard ground. Okay, so a few of my last favorites. I have this on right now. These are cute little um, bracelets. I'm sure you've seen a lot of girls talk about them. They're like these little ball bracelets. I got them from a shop on Etsy and um, I'll definitely link it down below. I forget the girl's name but they're cute they're high quality they look good um and I just like how they look they're super cute okay and then the final thing I wanted to talk about were actually I have it on oh, was my necklace like that the whole time um are these like t-shirt dresses kind of more chill dresses from Target now I've been like these are old like I don't think you can probably get these exact colorways and patterns and stuff now but they still have a bunch of them I think I just bought like one or two more but these are a great like alternative to like being comfy but also like actually getting dressed and I know that's like been an issue especially for me like during this like quarantine time and now that I'm just gonna be home all the time like I'm not gonna sit in like jean shorts or like jeans like that is like santa satanic to me like who sits at their desk at home alone in jeans like to do school work like absolutely not so these almost feel like you're wearing nothing they're super thin but they're good quality i've had this one for like over a year i think i pulled out a couple more from my closet just so you can see they come so like this one's sleeveless with a little b this one's more um of a typical dress style with like a scoop neck dress with um cute little sleeves this one's a medium I'm not sure what size this one is a large so I kind of bounce between a medium and a large it's they're so they're pretty true to size um yeah so they have cool colors they also have ones that are a little bit more structured but like I mean the material definitely changes these are like super soft kind of almost like jersey like they feel like jersey sheets and then this one is more of like a, a softer thicker fabric um this one's a medium as well and it has kind of like this nice little uh scoopy line and has double pockets and a v like i mean you would look great going out you like you look put together while wearing them but you're also comfortable and that's like a huge thing for me i cannot wear anything that's uncomfortable honestly like i won't wear it so okay so that's it that was definitely a bunch of information thrown at you but i hope you enjoyed i think these are like my ultimate favorites especially because this is my first one like this is stuff that i have been using religiously especially for the past month with a bunch of new school stuff the new fall candles i definitely did get these just a week ago but i mean it's fall season now baby i know it's august but it's technically september now so i would definitely jump on any of these products that sparked your interest you won't regret it i'll have everything linked down below that i can find um but i'll put everything that i talked about in order down below and then have the appropriate links for it so yeah thank you guys so much make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you made it this far 
you're a real one and if you made it this far put down in the comments below like what your few august favorites are or what is your august favorite what can you not live without and if you also have made it this far and you don't want to do your august favorite just comment down below that you're a real one for sticking along thanks guys have a great day